the blowgun bought from the hobby store that's illegal and shouldn't be in this place. Okay? You never saw it. <laughs> okay? This blowgun is 1.38 meters long. Ooh, that might be important later. 1.38 meters long from tip to where you blow in the end. Really cool. These darts are disgustingly, disgustingly uh, scary. Yeah, Look at this. It's a uh, nice needle. And it's got a little lip on the end there to cause a really nice seal at the end of the blowgun. So when you put it in the end and you put it in there, you've got to push a little bit. That way you don't inhale. So if you push it in there and it actually goes in there, then you go, <gasps> you don't end up swallowing that thing. It would be really gross, wouldn't it? All right. So they have a little lip in there. So once you snap it in place, it can't come out this side. It's got to go forward. Okay. Now, here's what I did. And uh, Gordon, see if you can pan over to there. There he goes. The big pan, the big pan. Right over there, zoom in right over there, is our target. See, I wanted to give you a nice incentive for you to hit the target. That's a picture of me over there. Okay? And that's nine meters away horizontally. Somebody write that down. Nine meters away horizontally. So nine meters away is the actual target. Okay? This is all you got to do. All it is like a homework problem, but done in real life. All we're going to do is shoot the blowgun that I strategically aimed so that if there was no gravity, it would hit me between the eyes. Huh? Are you with me on this? If there was no gravity, it would hit me between the eyes. All right. But if you read your chapter, you would know something really weird happens that doesn't happen with Bugs Bunny and the Roadrunner. See, in Bugs Bunny and the Roadrunner, if you're going fast sideways, gravity can't grab you. The faster you go sideways, the less gravity can get you. Uh, no, not in real life. In real life, you go over the cliff, you fall. <laughs> you go faster over the cliff, you fall less, only because you got to the other side quicker, but you fall. So when the roadrunner goes over these, these guys that are going straight across, he's got to go to the speed of light to actually get to the other side. It's not this a smoke trail, and then you find out, all right? It's not like the coyote. Who doesn't know gravity is on until he realizes he has enough time to write a little note going, oh crap, and then, ah, you know, and he doesn't have gravity act on him until he's consciously aware that gravity's acting on him. That's tune physics. In real life, gravity starts falling right away, okay? Right away, you start getting pulled down. But thanks to vectors, you know that there's only a component of your velocity that gets affected by gravity. We're going to talk about that a lot, right? The other component, if you ignore air, is not affected by gravity at all. Interesting. Okay? So that's just pretty much the gist of three quarters of the thing. So all we're going to do is shoot this blowgun off, and if there was no gravity at all, if there was no gravity at all, we would end up hitting me right between the eyes. That picture of me right between the eyes. Do you want right? to I got this thing aimed horizontal. Very important that if it's really horizontal, trust me, believe me, pretend, Joe, it's horizontal enough, and it shot it off horizontally. That's very important that the initial velocity coming out of the gun is horizontal. You're looking for VX, the velocity coming out of the gun. Okay? So here it goes. I'm going to give it a shot. It should hit me between the eyes, right? But no. Only cartoon physics would hit me between the eyes in real life. It shot over there. Okay? It's supposed to hit me right between the eyes, but instead it fell and went lower than my eyes. So all you do is take a measure device and you measure from where it hit to where my eyeballs are. And you see the difference, you know, like 17 centimeters. All right. What we need is Y. What do we call that? Vertical distance fallen. Y initial. Y final, the change in Y is the only measurement we really took. Nine meters was delta X. So all we got is delta X and delta Y. It's the only two things we needed. And we ended up being able to find the VX, velocity coming out of the gun, plus a bunch of other cool stuff. I'm going to have you find what angle it hit the cardboard at. I'm going to have you figure out what VY final was. And V final, a vector, V final, angle and direction of the final. And then for fun, I want you to find the acceleration in the gun. Pan to this gun again, and you'll see that it went from zero to a kick-butt speed in only 1.38 meters. 
find the acceleration in the gun, and find the um, time in the gun. All right? Once you find the time in the gun and the acceleration in the gun, one more thing I want you guys to find out. People at home and 118 people, you kind of do it as a bonus and stuff. But could you calculate? And what, actually, if you have time to try it. Could you calculate what angle that you would have to, did you notice it fell? I'd have to go to the speed of light to hit me between the eyes. It falls. So can you figure out what angle this has to be adjusted up? Okay? Hunters have to do this. They either have sights that do it, or bow and arrow type people have to actually have sights for distance to compensate for that thing called gravity. So what angle would you have to tilt this up at in order to hit me between the eyes? Trust me, it's not the same angle you're going to calculate when you calculate the angle going down. It's not the same angle. Okay? So what angle, given the same VX, would I have to, have to shoot it at? Okay? So the rest now, if anybody wants to get their own data, and I'll make an Excel document that'll be on Angel, that'll, that'll have the list of everything that's done. If anybody online wants to do this, what do they got to do? They got to get a PVC pipe, shock, and do it themselves. Come on. Impress me. Do it. All right. Go. Easy. Oh. <laughs> It'd be nice if you actually. No. I'm gonna be firing five. <laughs> you gotta hit the card for it, man.